What's going on everybody? Welcome to another abandoned video. Today, we're in another abandoned, untouched farmhouse. There's stuff in here that dates back as far as the 50s, and we really don't know the story as to what happened here. I'm thinking elderly couple passed away and left the house really for no one. And everything's left behind, literally everything. We're gonna be going around the house looking for things left behind, antiques, clues of why it's abandoned, and just out here exploring. So without further ado, let's go check it out. If you enjoy, leave a thumbs up and let's go. This is the living room. I have a giant old TV. It is a superset pip. I don't know if that's the name of the TV or what, but I never heard of that. Everything in this house dates back so far back. Here, here we have one of the bedrooms. And I mean, it looks, it's untouched, everyone. None of this is staged, this is all just how the place was left. Look at these books just tied in a knot. Very organized. So it's very weird how this place is just left abandoned. The people that lived here did care for it. But nobody claimed it. No one wanted this home or the contents inside of it because everything that was here is still here. And to get to the kitchen, from the living room, you have to go through the bathroom. Wow, these are so sick. What is all that stuff? Erector sets? That is some wood, yeah, that is old. Oh, wow. Look, this is like an oil pump. I have, I have seen these before, but look at those advertisements. Those scream out 1950s. I love this. Yeah. Let's open this up and flip through it a little bit. Directions. Yeah. How to build different things. A well driver. <laughs> these are so cool. So you could just, it's like Legos basically, but just yeah. with these steel parts. Yeah. Here's some of the parts. Wow. Really, really, really cool. Yeah. Try to see if there's a date or anything on here. It just says well, new. I see 1954 copyright right there. Oh, yeah, you're right. 1954. Very interesting. Wow. Yeah, that's that's really cool. So this looks like it was the kitchen area, like the dining room, maybe? There's a chair and tables here. Got a cabinet full of teapot. Look at that. Nobody's opened this cabinet in years, because if they were, all those glasses are coming right out of it. Wow. Still have dishes in the sink. A lot of them. Have all these different chemicals from the 50s. I love all the colors, all the logos, everything about that era. It was just very visually pleasing. There's still food on the plate and it's disgusting. It's like lime green mold. I've seen a lot of abandoned places and a lot of mold, but I've never seen that color. I mean, look at that fork. I mean, there's still stuff on it and there's mold building around it. Whatever happened here was a true tragedy. 
Enough so that they didn't even clean up anything. So let's see what kind of appliances they had. They had a toaster oven. They had a coffee maker, both of which date back as far as how they look. Maybe 1980s. There's a calendar in here, actually. I'm gonna take all this stuff down. Oh, wow, November 2007. I would've never guessed, but that's a good indication of perhaps when this place did in fact go abandoned. I mean, everything left behind. Except in there. Ugh. So random, but on the stove you have these cool navy vessels. Whoever lived in this house loved making things. I don't know if they made this one, but there's a lot of models and different things in here. Knickknacks. Nice Johnny Cash vinyl. That's a classic. Here's the entrance to the home. And the wooden staircase going up. Wow, there's a lot of storage in here. A lot of old stuff. This whole briefcase is filled with notes and post-its, postcards. I mean, there's so much stuff in this home that dates back. Here we go. Cards from people. Oh, wow. I guess somebody was in the hospital at some point. Master Electric Build It Set. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like I said, these people, they really liked making things. This stuff is really cool, though. This dates back. I love stuff from this time period. Wow, here's another bedroom. Not much inside of it besides the bed taking up the whole room. But we do have some vinyls left behind. Wow, look at that. It's so brittle that my hand just broke the handle. Let's see what's over here. Oh, it's another room. These rooms look so old. Look at everything in here. I thought this was just a briefcase. Nice. That's an awesome find.
everything still pretty much works brand new. Wow, it's incredible. Here we have a little record player. Not sure the type of records that would fit here that were this small. Can't think of it on the top of my head, but I do recognize that. We got some pretty rocks. There's so much stuff here. We have photos of the entire family here, inside the home. I could tell by the carpet, but all these pictures are going to be censored for privacy reasons. This is a Cub Scout card from 1963. Boy Scouts of America. It's pretty cool. Here we have a fireman uh, magazine from March 1964. Whoa! I guess back then these are just state-of-the-art fire rescue stuff and amb ambulatory stuff as well. This is so cool. This is like more history you could learn than in like a, a textbook or any class. You're just witnessing it firsthand. Look at that. I know what that's for. A sewing machine. And this sewing machine is in a portable case too. Wow, look at that. That's one of the nicest sewing machines I've seen. I love this design right here. This is the best room here. It looks like a children's room with the quilt on the bed. Probably made by hand, the quilt that is. This is very eerie. It looks like a children's room. I mean, we have everything left behind. Panaview Automatic. I thought it was a Polaroid camera at first, but I truthfully have no idea. It looks like it was a camera of some sort. This car 
is made out of the same thing we saw downstairs. Yeah, I saw that. That's super cool. They probably build it right out of that same kit we saw. And here it is in, in life. Even got a... Oh, it really turns the wheels too. Yeah, this thing is serious. Yeah, that's so cool. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. This place was wild, small little house, but a small little time capsule into the past. This place was great from the kitchen to the bedrooms and everything we found in between. This place brought me right back in time and that's exactly what my goal is when exploring abandoned buildings. And hopefully you guys enjoyed because I know I did. But we're gonna leave now. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.